MTN Quebeca are here riding their first ever Grand Tour at the Vuelta a España. In fact, they're the first ever African team to ride a Grand Tour and they're kicking up a bit of a storm. Partly because of their riding on the bikes, but also partly because their charity Quebeca is well known for providing underprivileged children in Africa with bikes as a means of transport. Their bikes here though are the Trek bikes and we're looking at this one today from Gerard Chiolek, winner of course of the 2013 Milan San Remo. So let's take a closer look. At the heart of the bike is a Trek Imonda frame. This is their latest latest version, a super lightweight climbing frame. Now, as is similar with a lot of the other bikes in the Peloton, the mechanics are actually having to add weights to build it up to the minimum UCI weight of 6.8 kilograms. But things have come on a little bit from the days when mechanics used to drop old chains down the seat post here to add that extra weight. So the mechanics have got different options based on the types of wheels that they're using and how heavy or lightweight they are. The first of those options is a pretty plain old piece of metal which they can fit here underneath one of the bottle cages. The second one, which is just very slightly more sophisticated, is this looking thing. This actually fits inside the hollow bottom bracket here. You can see there's already one in this frame, and I'll show you a little bit later on exactly how it fits in. Now one thing here which is slightly different and quite rare still even in the professional peloton are the brakes. You know, they're the direct mount brakes, which means that they've got two pivots rather than the single one which we're used to seeing on most bikes. And they're provided by Trek's kind of in-house company, Bontrager. Further afield, we've got the group set, which is provided by SRAM in the form of their SRAM Red 22 group set, which of course means there's 22 gears. The cassette at the back is of course 11 speed, it goes up from 11 tooth all the way up to 28. JL's just come out of the mountains, that might change for the flatter stages course he's a sprinter. Chain rings are very standard 39 to 53 and mounted onto an SRM SRAM crankset. The bottle cage is a carbon ones provided by Elite who also provide the bottles. If we come up to the top here we've got some fairly standard FSA bars and stem. Nothing particularly to talk about here although they are aluminium. You might have remembered recently that Simon Richardson showed you the disparity between some of the rides in the Peloton who choose carbon or some who choose aluminium. On the wheels, well, they've got Zips 303s, a personal favourite of mine, in fact, back from my days in Cervelo. You might opt for a 202 if it's a really mountainous stage or if it's a very flat sprint stage, one of the deeper sections, perhaps a 404. Mounted onto them are some Schwalbe 1 tubular tyres. Look to me like they're 23C. Can't actually see marked on them, but not particularly wide. But these rims, as is the fashion nowadays, are much wider than we were used to seeing in the past. Another customised bit of the bike is at the top there. That's a Celitalia SLR saddle, but it's a customised Quebeca one. A couple of final pieces of the puzzle. We've got some speed play pedals, which all of the team are using. And then up here, we've got the SRM head unit. Now, if you take a closer look at that, you'll see that it's had a bit of a hard time in adapting from the 40 degree heat and sun, which they were experiencing from the start of the welter, to the torrential rain and cold weather, which greeted them on stage nine. 